You and I are going to talk somewhere else. So, John, about the laptop, um... You know, I'm the first guy who resort to stealing from anyone, anyone but her. But in a way, that almost makes it more enticing. But in another way, maybe I tell her, getting her good graces, maybe I will. Maybe I'll do just that. Then she remember my name has an H in it. She always spells it J-O-N. And how do you think Harley feels about snitches? She told me to snitch. I think she likes them. Well, maybe not. I don't know, Bruce. I'm torn here. Just thinking about her makes me feel like I'm floating. She's the most intriguing creature ever to grace me with a demeaning insult. Which is great, don't, don't get me wrong. I, I, I want more, Bruce. Like you and Catwoman. I'm only a little ashamed to say that dance had my pulse pounding. What's your relationship with her? Your real one? How much to tell? She's just another criminal, John. She's only out for herself. Oh, you must be blind then, Bruce. I told you, I'm a watcher. And watching her, uh, she sees something in you. Uh, if only Harley saw me. Like, really saw me. The world's a crazy place, isn't it? I want Harley, and you want the laptop. Maybe we can come to an arrangement. I help you with Harley. <laughs> I see. You're up to bat then, Wayne. What did you do to make Catwoman purr? How can I get that with Harley? How can I make her see me? You just need to be genuine. You're special, John. She just needs to see that. So be myself. I hear that a lot, but how can I be myself if I don't really know who that is yet? How did you know who you are, Bruce? I've always known who I am. Something happened early on that, that made me what I am today. Oh, I hope a moment like that finds me soon. Must be great to be who you're supposed to be. I can feel someone a few layers deep, pacing like an animal in a cage, just looking for something to start it. The prison break. I don't know, maybe stick with being nice until you figure it out. People appreciate kindness, even Harley. Probably. How does that even work? Bond with her. Lend a hand with a problem she has. I don't know, Bruce. I have a tough time just talking to her. Oh, I've got an idea. Let's play pretend. Uh, what? You be Harley. Say something Harley would say. That laptop is for my eyes only. Oh, I see what you're doing. You want to talk about the laptop, okay. But I want to talk about Harley. We made a deal. She would say something like that, though. Okay, now say something, uh, date-like. Like we're out painting the town red. Hi, John. I like hiking. Do you like the outdoors? Why you love me? What do you think? Pretty good, right? 
That was perfect, John. Why did you think you couldn't do this? Really? I guess I'm just a natural lady killer. Okay, hit me. Another. What was your favorite thing about Arkham, Puddin? For me, it was Sloppy Joe Fridays. Bruce! This is just uncanny! Okay, okay, here we go. I enjoyed... the lights. They had a hum to them. Felt like a blanket. Fuzzy, even. I miss that on the outside. It, it doesn't feel as real here, you know? Out here, chaos seems to rule the day. It's loud and uneven. But you, Harley, you thrive on it. I could learn from that because I thrive on you. You're my light outside of Arkham. It's beautiful, John. She'll be eating out of your hand in no time. Y you think? I, I don't know. It, it felt weird to say. I really think I'm getting the hang of this. I'll start the next one. Your face has all the adequate face-like qualities one looks for in, uh, in a face. Harley, I lobbed you a perfect pitch. You gonna swing or what? John, sorry, something just came up. Uh, it's business. I have to run. So soon? It's, it's fine. A for effort, Bruce. I guess I won't go tattling to Harley. So, will you help me get the laptop? Gosh, Bruce. Our talk really got me fired up to find myself. My true self. Plus, your Harley is spot on. Oh, you drive a hard bargain, mister. Wait. Jeez. <laughs> okay, let me mull over the logistics. But I'm in. Meet me back at the subway when you're done with your business. And because we're pals, coffee's on my dime. Bruce? You're here. The last time I fired this up, you didn't show. Had me concerned. What do you mean? The agency convoy? All those freaks were in one place and you decide not to show? No, I didn't like you. You don't take time off. So what kept you? I had business elsewhere. Well, it better have been pretty damn important. Had to notify a lot of families tonight. Too many. I was counting on you. I'm sorry. It's just we took a big hit from those animals. I guess I can't really talk. We got there late. By then it was just Quinn. She still hospitalized a dozen good cops, then gave us a slip. Is that all? Uh, no. No, I... Uh, I got a favor to ask. Lucius Fox. I know Riddler tried to pin his death on you. But I had to ask myself, why would Riddler be so hell-bent on killing him in the first place? Did Fox have some kind of deal with him? Uh, there's more going on here. I know it. Maybe this Fox guy wasn't such an angel. Know what I mean? Not entirely. I knew Lucius Fox for years, Gordon. The man was a saint. On the surface, maybe. There's more to the story. Riddler targeted him for a reason. 
Waller shut down any investigation into the circumstances surrounding his death. And that means something stinks in Denmark. You could follow that stench all the way to Fox's employer. Look, just how much do you really know about Bruce Wayne? I see where you're going with this, but you're on the wrong trail. Bruce Wayne is helping you. Uh, well, if he's helping us, he has a real funny way of doing it. At first, I thought Fox was at the center of it all. But there's a hell of a lot more. A Wayne Enterprises security guard comes to GCPD saying he was assaulted by Harley Quinn and her gang. And who was leading her around like a pet? Bruce Wayne. Then I checked the video recordings. Someone did an amateur job covering up the security footage. Files were replaced, time unaccounted for, sloppy. At strike three, he flashes enough cash at one of my officers to get into Riddler's old workshop. Why? Wayne even dropped my name with Bullock, like I'd back him up. <laughs> Dirtbag's got stones, I'll give him that. Bruce Wayne is dirty and he's dangerous. Waller knows all of this happened, too, and she refuses to let me move on it. So I need you to bring him in. That's the favor. I can't do it, but you can. I know what it looks like, Gordon, but Wayne isn't dirty. You're wrong, you know. His whole thing, it doesn't add up. Gotham's safety is slipping out from under me and I can't stand it! I know your friend Catwoman's in town. Got a rap sheet that'll put her away for life. Maybe I can't move on Bruce Wayne, but I can move on her. I should have done this a year ago. As soon as I get back to the office, I'm sending out a task force after her. And you, you better not tell her we're coming. It sounds like he's on a warpath. If I warn Selina and she gets away, Gordon and the police will blame me. But if I don't, I put her in danger. Don't forget that you're both after that laptop. Gordon might be your best chance to slow her down. Unfortunately, we're running out of time. It's my fault Gordon is like this. I want to tell him everything, but I can't. Secrets poison relationships, Bruce. But to protect this city, to protect yourself, he can't know. You know, Miss Kyle is going to run sooner or later. It's her nature. How much can you really trust her as an ally? I know how you feel about her. Make certain you aren't letting that cloud your judgment. We both want to take down the pact. That I know for certain. Allies are in short supply these days. I know you've worked together in the past, but your circumstances are different. You know what must be done. It's 
It's just a handshake. No. Uh-huh. Jeez, this is Arkham all over again. I'm just such a huge fan of yours. And here you are, in the flesh. <laughs> I'm looking for mentors, role models. I've come across a few good candidates. You're... you're Batman. <laughs> I don't take on students. Now hold on. Before you accept, here's what I bring to the table. I can get you Riddler's laptop. All his secrets right there. And the gang who attacked the convoy. They needed to pull off a big score. The point. So what if I steal it from Harley Quinn, no less, and give it to you? But, uh, and, and, this, is, and this is a big but. I need you to promise nothing bad will happen to Harley. I mean, letting one criminal slip through the cracks every once in a while can't be the worst thing. Sorry, John. No exceptions. That gang, they're going to fall. <laughs> they're going to fall. Man, that's so good. You're the real deal, you know that? Of course you know it. Now, when you're on the job, what's the preferred method of extracting a target? Always repelling in, or explosives as a distraction, or... You know what? I'll wing it. If I were you, I'd get a friend to help. That's a great idea! I hope Bruce is there. He'd do anything for me. Oh, one last thing! <laughs> I collect these. They mean a lot to me. But what the... No pictures. Laptop. Behind the stack deck. Well, I hope you weren't counting on a specific time, because, you know, that's what I use my phone for. Dishonor yourself, Timothy. If you are the rat, then wear it proud. I would have respect for that, and with respect comes mercy. Greetings, Wayne. Come with me. As a fellow apostle of technology, I thought you might appreciate this. Vane and I were acquiring components for a device I'll need once we get to the black site. Device? Yes, an ice explosive for the fire failsafe we anticipate encountering. That isn't the impressive detail. As we ran into interference, I determined I would be more efficient if I made smaller versions and employed them as projectiles. Who were they? Hindrances. As you can see, it's been wildly successful. These people didn't need to die. There are other ways. Maybe you're better suited for the realm of business. The people you kill there are faceless. We live in a twisted world, Bruce. Better to abide than struggle against it in vain. One more time, my friend. Why did an alarm go off when it was your job to ensure it didn't? Bane, come on! I, I slipped up! Dangerous time to make a mistake when you knew I was looking for a mole. You're trying to slow us down! No! Look, I want to get paid, just like you! I got mouths to feed! Then, when the police arrived, you were nowhere to be found! I... You know I'm no traitor! I stood up for you, remember? Come on, man. We have to stand together on this. Yeah, sure. Pretty bold move. 
good. Yeah, yeah. Now, now why, why would I do that if I was dirty? I'd have thrown you to the wolves to cover my ass, right? Oh, ho, ho. a deft turn. But it's not enough to save you. In fact, your awareness of how to deceive only creates more suspicion. What the hell is going no, on no, here? No, 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 no! Merely plugging their leak. God damn it, Bane. You running your own investigation? Hey, 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 hey. Hold on. Damn it. Why are you complaining? I didn't get a chance to grill the guy. I'm a trained psychiatrist. What are you? A side of beef with a hunch? I'll find the rat, and I'll deal with it. You can't be trusted to run your men anymore. They're mine now. Got Yours? It? <laughs> I freed them from Santa Prisca! You just killed one. I only shot him. <laughs> Who do you think wins that recruitment war? They won't follow you. What do you want, John? Right. The laptop. This seems like the perfect time. You don't know for sure it was him, so now what? They know the cost. I value loyalty above all else. You know who's gonna have a tough time being loyal now? That guy. Just keep her busy. I have to sneak into her office to get it. Then, uh, it's all yours. Yep. Getting it for my old buddy Bruce. And only you. Promise. Sound like a plan. Up top. Yes, that was a good one. Hey, you two. What's going on with you guys? Harley, what a surprise. You guys get me a black site location or not? The answer had better be yes, Harley. Sorry, we didn't have any luck. And how has Wayne disappointed you this time? What do you want? Shouldn't you be informing your men they work for me now? You? You can't even keep these two from colluding. Pudding? Are you kidding me? He's loyal to a fault. I'm loyal, Harley. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Because I want to be. Because I'm being myself. The mole, Bane's men, you maybe, possibly, potentially can't handle it alone. <laughs> you have a problem, and I want to help. You time out. And you, we need to talk. Here's one of my favorite toys. Helps me make boring things into pretty things. Can you be a smart guy and guess another one of my favorite toys? Come on, you can do it. Think hard. Is it John? Oh, look at that. There are some neurons firing in there after all. You two are getting a little too close for comfort. So I'm making a new rule. Hands off. Point is, John's mine, and mine alone. So don't play with my toys, or I'll bash in that pretty face of yours. Alfred, get a suit ready for drop-off. Of course. Was your accomplice successful? Looks like. I'm on my way to meet him now.
Alfred, keep the drones on alert. They're online and overhead, sir. Don't let your guard down. <sighs> He's here. Heart disease is a silent killer. How do you even do that? Did you get it? It didn't feel great, you know? Stealing from her. It felt like there was a little Harley with a halo on this shoulder telling me not to do it, and then the bat on the other whispering, Just get it, John. <laughs> or did you have the halo and Harley the horns? You must run across this in your line of work. How do you deal with doing something good when you might be hurting someone you love? Because it certainly didn't feel good. Quite the opposite, in fact. Every time it costs you a little bit of yourself. I wish there was an easier answer. It seems like you can't do it very often. Or there'll be nothing left. I did bring the thing, by the way. Don't you worry. Perseus, I bring you the Gorgon's head. So, is Batman happy? You, you look pretty happy. Well, I'm happy. I did something for you. Maybe you uh, could do something for me. Like? Teach me. Anything. What about those, uh, boomerangs you have? I promised only use it for, you know, hero things. I'm not sure you've earned that yet. Oh. Yeah, okay. I'll, I'll get there. Just you wait. Working with you, Batman, it's just been... Wow. What I meant to say is, uh, it's, it's been an honor. I know, I'm not quite there yet, but I'll be battering worthy soon. You can take that to the bank. This is exciting. A new leaf. To new beginnings. You have potential, John. Do something good with it. Well, with you to look up to, how could I go wrong? Do you have a cape, guy? Because I was thinking about updating my look. Selena. I had nowhere else to go. I guess I was a fool for thinking I'd be safe here. How did you get inside? Just what are you insinuating, Bruce? That I broke in? Well, I mean, did you? No, genius. I was invited in. <laughs> Maybe we should just start from the beginning. What happened? I'm glad you're here, Bruce. Miss Kyle is injured. I dressed the wound as best I can. I trust you told him about your motorcycle accident? I was just about to. I hope you don't mind me tending to her wounds. I couldn't turn her away. Not in her condition. Not at all. Thanks for taking care of her. You've been so good to me, Al. I don't know how I would ever repay you. But of course. I hate to ask, but would you mind giving Bruce and I a second to talk? How can I refuse? I'm worried about him, Bruce. I'm pretty sure he's on the verge of a nervous breakdown. And you don't want to be the one who pushes him over the edge. Alfred? 
You're the one bleeding on my couch, Selena. It's not as bad as it looks. Uh, could have fooled me. Whoa, what are you doing? Relax. I'm just changing out the bandage. Be a doll and hand me a clean piece of gauze. Been through... There. Good as new. So, do you want to tell me what really happened? We both know you didn't get this from a motorcycle accident. I was ambushed by your friend Gordon tonight. Thought you knew. You and Gordon are so tight. He must have mentioned he was coming after me. I didn't think he actually catch you. So you did know. Why didn't you warn me? I know we haven't always seen eye to eye, it's just... I... I honestly don't know. I wonder if you know why you do anything at all. Listen, this little game we play, you know I've always enjoyed it. The tit for tat. It's fun. But tonight, you've taken it too far. Way too far. How can I make it up to you? You can start by giving me access to that laptop. I know you snatched it from Harley. Well, why is the laptop so important to you? I wanted to get payback for Riddler. On my own terms. I let my temper get the best of me. But this is bigger than my vendetta. I want to find that black site. Before they do. The laptop is useless without Riddler's decryptor. Good thing I brought it then. You have the goggles too? Not so fast. What are you offering me in return? You know when it comes to me, nothing is for free. You give me the decryptor and we will crack this code together. I promise. Okay. I'll give it to you. But on one condition. What do you want from me, Selena? I want you to admit that you need my help. I want you to say, Selena, I need you. I can't do this without you. Say it and it's yours. Selena, I need you. And? I can't do this without you. No. You can't. Let's just keep it professional this time. I want to keep you as a friend. Sorry, did you think I was... <laughs> That's not what I meant. So, what now? Are we gonna crack Riddler's laptop together or not? I'm out on a line here. Don't leave me hanging. Uh, come downstairs with me. What's downstairs? You'll see. Coming. <laughs> 